Hi friends, today we are going to discuss the topic name is producer and consumer problem. So for this we are using a threads. So it is very important for the interview perspective who are going to attend the interview. It comes as a written test or might the interview will ask in front of him to write the producer consumer problem. So let's start with the producer consumer problem. Let's create a Java clause with the name of producer consumer. So for this, uh, first I will take a link list. So I would want to take the integer value. List, new, link list. So the basic understanding of producer and consumer means uh, whenever the producer uh, add a element to the link list, the consumer can able to consume. And whenever the list is full, the producer has to wait and allow the consumer to consume the items. In the similar way, whenever the list is empty, consumer has to wait and has to wait the next append of the producer to add the items to the producer, add, add the items to the list. So let's start with the programming. Uh, initially, I will take the capacity as zero. Capacity as, uh, I will take as two initially. And let me write the program for produce first. Producer. So here, if before starting, I am just taking a value as zero at the initial stage. Later, I will take the while loop where the thread infinitely has to loop. And then I have to make this object as synchronized. Uh, I just make as this in the synchronized block. So here the actual logic begins. So we have to write a while loop whenever the list dot size is equal equal to the capacity. Then what we have to do? We have to make the thread has to be weighed. So I'm just waiting. So here I, uh, we need to throw the exception. So either we can catch the exception or we have to add the method signature. So it will as throws interrupted exception so once we added this one so we just have to add the list dot add of the value we just have to increase this one each time so here i'm just going to write the system dot out dot filter producer produced i'm just going to print the value here so after that one uh, I need to make this thread has to be uh, notify for the consumer to co uh, consume this one I am just going to notify and then so I am going to get the sleep also because it is uh, readable from the programming perspective I am just keeping as uh, sleep time as thousand so if you see this notify so this notify we making is uh, inviting consumer to consume the item. This is the notify purpose here. Confuse the item. These threads that slip is a better understanding while execution. So this is the use of it. And similar way also, I am going to write the consumer public. Consumer. So here, uh, let me take the while loop directly. So it has to be executed continuously so that I just keep the inter infinite loop of while loop. And I need to do synchronized true current object I am going to making as synchronized so it's not true it just have to do this and I am just keeping while list dot size each equal equal to zero means we need to wait this is the condition we are going to look for the consumer why because uh, the number of elements from the list is being zero means then only we have to wait our consumer and let the producer to produce a value on the list. 
so after this one i am just going to remove the elements from the list remove first why i am taking the link list link list we can take the uh, remove the element at the first or at the at the end there are specific custom defined uh, the predefined method from the link list so that i have taken the link list for to remove the element either at the first or either at the end. but for our consumer problem the removing at the first is needed and i am going to store this value in here some variable the remove value and here also i am going to print system dot out dot print l consumer consumer just i am printing here value the consumer has printed the value and we have to notify the producer to produce a value again so notify producer to produce a value and then we have to do the thread does with this is only better understanding of execution there is not not much of use of it better execution understand see here okay so we have ready with the producer and consumer blocks and we need to invoke these two producer and consumer for that i am just going to create a one more class new java class thread example so we did created a class and then we need to create the main method so after that i am going to create producer consumer pc equal to new producer consumer so we are ready with the object of producer consumer class and then we have to create the two threads one is for consumer another one is the producer first i will create the thread for the producer thread t1 is equal to new thread uh, we can use the runnable here in this way so we have the run method here we can do pc dot producer if you see here it is going to uh, through the exception i am going to add as a uh, otherwise i will just going to add throws interrupted exception would be fine or even okay it is not at the method level because it is inside of the runnable right so that we have to keep uh, we have to keep in a try and catch lock so here i just do the print practice and for the consumer also similarly i do create the same thread and i would name as p2 this is the b consumer and then i am going to start the bota threads t1 dot start and t2 dot start so along with that uh, uh, t1 dot join and t2 dot join this we need to make as the throws interrupted exception and the purpose of these are the to start both producer and consumer operations and this t1 dot join and t2 dot join makes so t1 finishes before t2 joins its education this is the purpose of this one and let's start the program we have created the uh, pc object and we have invoked the pc producer and pc consumer and both we have started after that t1 dot start and t2 dot start and we have invoked join methods yeah that is correct let me start the program here <coughs> see here producer for signal well two values and consumer also consuming two values in a similar manner so here one more thing i have to write the system dot out dot printl before to add because this is the posting commit 
so that we need to keep this producer for produ uh, producer producer has to before this value so that is the thing if you uh, want to consider here let me uh, read on this one see first producer produced two capacity zero and one and consumer also consuming two capacity producer producing two and three and consumer consuming two and three so it is in the sequence manner so it is producing two items and the consumer also coming and taking the two items so it might not be a sequential order sometimes producer will generate six and consumer will uh, take six and then later producer comes to generate seven but maximum producer at a time it can uh, produce two items and consumer at a time it can consume two items and it, the consumer has to wait uh, for the next iteration of producer to produce an item that is the way we are doing uh, rather than if you take the one as the capacity you can understand a sequence order see here i'm just making as one as from this one so it could be useful easy to understand so producer generating zero consumer consuming zero in a sequence right everything producer generating one consumer consuming one it is more readable than before oh so that's it guys from this producer consumer problem if you have any doubt please mention in a comment and we will go to the further programs and in further sessions thank you for watching this program please like and subscribe my channel and let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Thank you.